day one of Belize. I'm so excited to be here. The travel to Belize was pretty good, except for a bit of a rough landing once we touched down in Belize. Uh, when we got to Monkey Bay, we went on this amazing nature hike. It had four different ecosystem types and you could really see the differences. I was just so amazed by all the different types of nature we were able to see on this hike. It was just a truly breathtaking experience and I loved every second of it. So Belize Day 2, we went canoeing today. It was great. It was a lot of fun. We were so confident and then all of a sudden we were in the water. <laughs> you know, uh, we fell in the water. So that's why the video was so foggy. <laughs> it wasn't our fault though. I don't it, think it, was. it wasn't our fault. We are calling out Yasmin and Robert yeah, in this video. One. We're for calling y'all out. <laughs> Day three, we left Monkey Bay and we went on about a two and a half hour or two hour drive to Mountain Pine Ridge, very appropriately named for all the pine trees. The drive was really nice. When we got to Mountain Pine Ridge, we actually got, we saw our new cabin. The dorms are really nice. It's a bit hot, but it's a lot, of, it's really pretty. We went on a little, <laughs> little journey down to the river before I came out back and we just passed out. Me and the girls passed out. We had our first day in the field today, which was a lot of fun seeing all the invertebrates. We didn't get too many at first, which was really disappointing. But after a while, the further we headed upstream, we saw a lot more invertebrates and poor Victoria, she was swimming in that water. Get it, Victoria. <laughs> it was really funny but it was a lot of fun to be able to do that we saw about nine mayflies which is a great indicator of river health as they are very pollution intolerant so we more than likely have a really healthy river out here it was it was a lot of fun being out on the field and i'm very excited to see our site tomorrow and see how that goes day four in Belize. We had a beautiful, beautiful drive up to Chilio Reservoir at McCall River. We had Philip tell us all about this reservoir and it was just really some really interesting information. He told us how this reservoir is used to power 50% of the country's electricity, which is just insane to think of that just one reservoir is able to do all that. After we visit there, we had another very good drive. I keep using that word to describe Belize. It's beautiful. I mean, it's just, it really is just beautiful. We went to the Rio Frio and there's this huge cave. It was so insane. It was beautiful. It was, I keep saying beautiful, but the, I, it's, there's no other way to describe it, but just this awe inspiring cave. And it was awesome. After exploring the cave for a bit, we had day two in the field and we found so many invertebrates. It was really so much fun being able to be in the field doing our research. We found, I can't remember an exact number, but so many mayflies and just so many other invertebrates that indicated a healthy river. So that was very exciting to find. After working in the field, we rested for a bit and then we went to Blancano Lodge, which is a five star lodge. Where are they drinks? Five star. <laughs> it was really cool and it was just a really nice bonding experience to be able just to relax in some AC with everyone on the trip. It was a lot of fun. So day five of Belize, we went to Mahogany Creek today, which was a very tiny little creek thing. <laughs> There was a lot of big rocks and all of a sudden it was very squishy so it was very hard to walk. I fell at least twice. Uh, we didn't find any invertebrates in that river which was really disappointing but it, I mean it's a good indicator of the health of the river. It's probably not doing too well. 
We also went to Rio on Creek. We were able to find some more invertebrates there. Um, not highly diverse, but we did have, once again, mainly mayflies, which means it's <laughs> more than likely a very healthy stream. There just wasn't a lot of rocks, so we weren't able to find a whole lot of invertebrates. We've noticed that most of our invertebrates are found underneath medium-sized rocks. Then we, we went to Big Rock, which is this beautiful waterfall, and we were swimming in there for a bit. It was it was really pretty. So two sides today, you know, I am very tired. We had some good cake though. We did have some really good cake. <laughs> L had four pieces and then Kathleen had two. Really good cake. Day six of the lease. We hit two sites today. The first one we went to was Pinal Sands and it was a really nice little creek. We unfortunately didn't find any invertebrates actually in the water, but we did find a lot of dart snail eggs, which was insane. They just looked like little gummies. It was really cool to be able to make that mod well, discovery, but see that. After some time sampling at Pinal Sands, we went to Thousand Foot Falls, which surprisingly is not actually a thousand feet Oh, it's actually, I believe Philip said 1,600 feet. So the name's a lie. <laughs> it was a really beautiful, beautiful place. A very bumpy ride to get <laughs> to get up there. Our second site was Oak Burns River, which was right next to the construction site of the road. So there was so much sediment in that river poor Olivia like sank into quicksand like apparently Yasmin saved her so it was a really weird little river it was very hard to walk around in it but me and Victoria as well as everyone else really worked through those difficulties and did really well in the field so it was a really exciting day it was really nice tomorrow is our last day of our terrestrial so I'm really sad to that it's almost over but very excited to see how it ends day seven in police and it's our last day for terrestrial in the field <laughs> thank y'all <laughs> we went to two sites today we went to first creek for our first creek <laughs> thank you thank you so we didn't find too much in our first creek we did find a couple of dragonflies mating so maybe eventually there will be some more invertebrates in that river after lunch we went to our second creek which i cannot pronounce but i will insert the spelling here it was a really nice creek and as they say last time best time we worked through a little bit of rainfall and it was just somehow perfect for our last site. We found a lot of invertebrates in that creek. Once again, matching Victoria's prediction. She's amazing at that. I don't know how her predictions came out so true. I think it was a great ending to our terrestrial field testing. I will miss the terrestrial side except for all of the ticks and mosquitoes can't wait to see what's to come hey in police we went to caracol today which is an ancient mayan city and we saw so many mayan ruins it was amazing our guide who's known as the lion he told us all these different stories about the different gods in Mayan culture. He told us about battles between Mayan cities that spanned between Belize and Guatemala and New Mexico. It was so cool. We climbed to the top 
of the temple where like the king and queen of this Mayan city lived. And let me tell you, <laughs> those steps are steep. I am too short to be going up and down the steps, but I did it because when can I say I climbed Mayan ruins again? So we went to the top and as soon as we went to the top, it started pouring rain. The rain made it feel like the Mayans were talking with us. That may seem kind of over dramatic to some, but to me it just, it meant a lot. Lion even gave us a little gift he made. He, he wrote each of our names in the hieroglyphs of the Mayans and a lot of us were thinking about getting them tattooed. It is so cool. After that, we went to another five star lodge, thanks to Melito. And we just relaxed with some drinks and now tomorrow we're going to Marine. So it's really exciting, can't wait. Oh my God, I almost forgot to mention that on our way to Caracol, the roads were really muddy because it had just rained. So we literally had to push the bus up the hill. It was amazing and definitely a memory that I will keep with me forever. Day nine, we have left Mountain Pine Ridge. It was really sad to say goodbye to our terrestrial side of things. And we made about a three hour drive through Belize, passing through Belpomon and San Ignacio to make it down to Dangria where we made our way in a 30 minute boat ride to Tobacco Key, which is this beautiful island just off of Belize. And it's such a beautiful place. I love being here already. And we got to snorkel for my first time. It was so cool seeing coral and some parrotfish and so many other types of fish. I'm really excited to be snorkeling the next couple days. Day 10 in Belize. Today was our first day in the field and I'm not gonna lie, it was rough. And as much as it was fun, it was kind of a mess. <laughs> not even kind of, it, it was a mess. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm confident that starting tomorrow, we will really work out what went wrong and do better. So I'm looking forward to it. It was really nerve-wracking for someone who's never been snorkeling to go snorkeling just in open ocean, but it was really amazing being able to swim among all the coral and do this kind of work. Day 11 at Belize. There's not too much for me to say today because, well, I got sick. <laughs> so I was not able to go on the boat. I think I was dehydrated, so I couldn't really keep down water. My stomach was hurting, my head was hurting. And you know, just not a pleasant experience overall. I felt really bad that I couldn't go in the field, but you know, health is very important. So just tip for anyone working in the field, just make sure to take care of yourself beforehand so that you can go in the field and afterwards, of course, so that you can go in the field. We are trying a new method tomorrow for our rugosity. I'm going to be diving down, which is a very new experience for me. So I'm nervous, but I'm excited to try. And I'll let you know how it goes tomorrow. Today was pretty rough. I was trying to learn how to dive, which is harder than it seems. So it, it was just a tough experience today. And the sights were beautiful as always. <laughs> we lost a transect today. It was, it was a little funny, but also not at all <laughs> because it's not our transect. <clears throat> it started floating away into the ocean. And so <clears throat> a lot of people got on canoes or kayaks, <laughs> whichever they are, started sailing around and Ignacio found it floating into open ocean. 
So I'm glad we got that back. Tomorrow I will be doing new position so that I don't have to dive anymore. I'm going to be helping as many squirrels, so I'm excited to see how that goes. Day 13, I think. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I really am losing track of the days out here. We had three sites today, which were all beautiful. I think if I remember correctly, it was the first one was aquarium, the second one was gardens, and the third was long reef. It's really hard remembering the names out here compared to the terrestrial. I don't know why, but there's just there's so many out here. I've also realized I'm having a harder time doing my little audio diary things for marine than terrestrial for whatever reason. I think it's because when I'm out in the field in marine, I am so much more focused there because at least to me, there's so much more to watch out for. You know, you have your wave action, you need to make sure you're staying on your transect line you're watching out for your buddy there's jellyfish there can be barracuda stingrays all these things to really pay attention to that i haven't really been going into detail about the sites like i did in terrestrial but more just my experience overall today the first two sites were really nice um since i'm now helping as me with more identification i have to swim around a lot more than i was used to so I will say by the end of the first sight, I used a lot of my energy. And so by the second sight, I was fine for a bit. And then I felt like I gone, energy gone. So I took a break on one of the auntie's floaties. And she gave me a really great tip on how to conserve your energy in the water. So the auntie told me I can just sit up and just cross your legs. And when I did that, that's when I really was able to relax and get my energy back. And so I'm really grateful for that tip. Definitely helped me there and the third sight. We had lunch on another key. I believe it was called Saltwater Key. And we saw a lemon shark in the water. I saw a real life shark in the wild. Never done that before. And that was amazing. At the third site, the wave action was rough. Let me tell you, I was getting blown everywhere. But everyone really just dealt with it and did great. Got their dad, I got it back on the boat. Day 14 in Belize, it was our last day snorkeling. Any comments, Kimber? It was really fun. I wish we were still doing it. It was great. And it's one of those, like I had felt like I just got comfortable snorkeling and then we were over and then it was done. But it was a great last day. And like we say, last sight, best sight. And just like terrestrial, it was very much correct because there was like no wave action. It was a beautiful sight, like corals everywhere I saw sea urchins like these huge mounding corals these huge soft corals it was awesome and then later in the day we went night snorkeling i was really nervous to go um but i did anyways because i was like you know what what am i gonna say i get to do this again it was beautiful my group didn't see derek but i heard the second group saw derek which is a moray eel who's very well known on this island but overall it was just an amazing experience we saw squid we saw i think it was bucket stars mm -hmm a shrimp punched me in the chin <laughs> it was great and so today or tomorrow we're gonna be going to monkey bay and then from there leaving the next day so i'm kind of sad that the trip's almost over but i'm really excited to go home too today what is this day 14 15 15 day 15 we left tobacco key i think it was the hardest leaving this place and even mountain pine ridge it's just such a beautiful place tobacco key and it's like the dream vacation it's beautiful the people were amazing so it was really hard to leave we made our way back to Monkey Bay and our driver was Melito. He told us we weren't gonna be able to see him again because he was gonna be going through training, but he's the one who came to pick us up. So that was that was really good to see him again. 
So now we're just at Monkey Bay. Tomorrow we leave back to the States. I'm very excited to go home, but I'm also so sad leaving Belize. It's been such a great experience. So yeah, excited to go home, but not excited to leave at the same time. Today was our last day in Belize. We left from Monkey Bay and made our way to Belize City, where the airport is, with our driver, Melito. We love Melito. It was just, it was a great ending to the trip to have him be the one to see us off. I'm sorry, I'm getting kind of emotional already talking about this trip. We stopped in, well, first of all, I got so many souvenirs in that airport. I got some gifts for my my family, for me. Um, then we made our way to Houston where I had ice cold water and processed foods for the first time in two weeks. It was way more exciting than it should have been. Then from Houston, we made our way to Corpus and we're home. I'm so excited to be home. I was so excited to lay on my own bed. I got to go pick up my cat from my friend's house. And it... It was just an amazing trip. There's so much I could say about this trip and it still wouldn't be enough to really put into perspective exactly what this trip has done for me. <sighs> I'm getting kind of emotional talking about it. Um, this really was a one in a lifetime opportunity. It's something I will never forget for the rest of my life. And I have a pretty bad <laughs> memory, so that's saying something. This trip helped me grow as both a scientist, researcher, and just as a person. I met people and became friends with people never thought I'd be friends with. This trip helped me open up and become more social and confident in my abilities. This trip put me in uncomfortable situations and taught me how to get through them. This trip taught me that I let my anxiety control me too much. It taught me to take chances, to do things that make you uncomfortable and to do it with confidence. This trip did so much more for me than I could have imagined. There were some really hard times for me on this trip. I'm not the fittest person in any sense of the word. So I did struggle when it came to things such as hiking up steep hills and long distances. I had never gone snorkeling before and I'm pretty sure everyone but me had lots of experience in stuff like that. I had a lot of moments that made me feel less than. A lot of the smart, amazing people I went on this trip with. This trip taught me that it's okay. It's okay that I may not be as experienced 
or physically fit as everyone else. What matters is that I grew, I got stronger, I didn't give up, and I pulled through and I got the job done. I am so, so grateful for this trip and this experience, the hard times and the good times. I have made what I can consider lifelong friends. I just feel like I'm repeating myself. I'm just so happy for the opportunity that I had. So. I will truly remember and cherish this for the rest of my life. And I hope I can go back and explore Belize again. It was truly amazing.